What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide slash player breakdown. So finally we have got the epic Netherlands players in the game, right? So we these were on the database for a while and we talked about them and I think these are potentially three of the best cards that are possibly out there at the moment. I mean, Van Basten, his player ID is going to be insane. We'll show you that in a second. But Rijkaard and Hullet, like absolutely ridiculously strong cards. I mean, you've got a 97 center back, but also he can play as a DMF as well. We'll, we'll have two versions of his card. Um, and we will also talk about Van Basten and Hullet as well, right? So you can get a free player of this when you actually sign in um, and log in, right? So we will open that towards the end of the video. Um, actually, no, we'll just open it now. Let's see. No, we'll open it towards the end of the video. I like teasing. Anyway, right, we're going to start with Hullet, okay? So Hullet is down as a creative midfield, creative playmaker, but he can play as an SS, an AMF, or a CF, right? So again, if you are going to be training him, you have to look at a lot of different things. The first thing I would look at is his skills, right? He is on B rating with unwavering form, so that's kind of a necessity for this card. But he's got some very unusual and unique skills, right? So he's got heading and soul control. He's got one touch pass and aerial superiority. But he's also got track back, fighting spirit, true passing and long range shooting. So he's kind of a pretty much, he can you can pretty much throw him anywhere up front, right? Now, the thing I like about this card is for a very tall player, he actually has quite decent balance, right? And he still has good aggression and still has good tackling, okay? So if you are going to be using him as a very aggressive attacking midfielder, I would definitely go with a build like this, which we'll see here. So this build here that you see is, you know, a little bit of shooting, uh, a good bit of passing, a good bit of dribbling, and a good bit of dexterity with five lower body, right? So it's six, nine, eight, ten, five, one. okay? Now, you get everything with this card as an AMF slash SS, right? As a creative playmaker, you're going to be, you know, still a little bit aggressive when you get the ball, right? Now, I know people will ask me, does he play better as a, like, outright center forward? Um, if you are going to be playing him as an outright center forward, lads, I would definitely try and get that finishing up to at least 83 um, or 82 if you could. But the acceleration, the balance, and the offensive awareness, they're key if you're playing him as a center forward. You don't need to worry too much about his offensive awareness if you're playing him as an SS or an AMF. Um, he'll still make runs forward, but he's not going to make goal poacher runs because he's not a goal poacher. You know what I mean? He's not going to be bursting to get into the box uh, unless you leave counter target on him. Uh, when you have the when you get the ball back from possession, right? So I would say that that's probably the best AMF slash SS build of him. You've got everything that you could possibly want there, and it really combines the skills nicely. And of course, you also have a couple of unique skills that we've topped up, such as the header at seventy nine, and also the physical contact at seventy nine with jump at eighty three. And he's one hundred and ninety cm lad, so he's not small. He'll definitely be able to win aerial duels, right? especially with the fact that he has got heading as a player skill and aerial superiority. So that is really, really nice as well. I mean, if you stick double touch on him, it would be quite nice. But even at this, I think it's a good card. So if I was actually going to be playing him as a center forward, right, which I don't really recommend, I would play him as an SSAMF. You could take down the passing. You could get away with the passing if you're playing him as a center forward by just leaving it at that, right? He does have one touch pass. Um, so that's not going to be a big issue for this guy uh, for passing and bringing others into the play, okay? Dribbling, I would take that down as well if you want him to be your run and gun striker. This card isn't really it. I would uh, improve the finishing to at least 82. And even at that, he's not going to be like that electric type center forward. You know, even if you pop 11 into dribbling here, you're still only going to have the ball control and dribbling and type possession under 86. You will get the boost, obviously, with the player form arrow. But I definitely think that they, they do try gear you towards playing this card as a not a central figure, like a center forward, but as somebody that is just an all-around beast at creating, shooting, everything. I mean, this guy can do it all, right? So I definitely think play him as an SS or an AMF. Um, next up, we have Rijkaard, right? So Rijkaard is a fantastic option as well. You can play him any of those three positions that you see there on wavering form. He looks like a boss as well. And again, he's got some extremely good and unique variety of skills, right? So not only does he have a couple of dribbling and shooting skills, he also has one touch pass, way to pass, but he has man marking as well as interception and fighting spirit. So I already know lads, that these guys, based on their skills, based on their player ID, and based on the whole way that their cards are set up, right? These are going to be such pests to get the ball away from. There's 
going to be a lot of contextual blocking when you come up against these guys. Trust me on that. These guys are going to be the new um, meta kind of players, right? So, yeah, be careful if you're coming up against them, right? Just keep the ball away from them. But 75 speed and 81 kick and power straight off the rip. His balance, even though he's the same height as Hollett, they're different players. His balance as a center back is going to be pretty, uh, pretty poor. But we've actually got two versions of Rijkaard, right? So the first one is going to be an outright straight up center back, right? So we've just put in 16 into defending, 4 into aerial strength and 5 into dexterity. To get the acceleration, the balance as close to 70 um, or as high as we can possibly go for a player this uh, this tall and then we also have 78 jump and 80 header on top of that as well he's got some fairly nice stats and skills to go along with this center back card so i mean this guy will practically defend for you i mean he's he's just incredible now one thing i would say is he does not have blocker which is i think a necessity and he also doesn't have acrobatic clearance right so i would definitely try and get those on if you can at all right they'd be two player skills that i would definitely recommend if you are looking to play Rijkaard as more of a defensive midfielder, central midfielder, kind of defending from midfield rather than have your, you know, if you're happy enough with your center backs, um, then I would definitely go with this build of him, right? So this is a build that you still have 12 points into defending to bring up. We want to get tackling to 88. That's where we want to go with it, right? We're not too concerned about defensive awareness, but we want to tackling to get the boost uh, because he is a B, B form and he's got unwavering form. Um, with the live update and the form of his card we are going to be having the player form arrow up more often than not so we do want that tackling at 90 and we also want that defensive awareness as high as we can as well but even at that this card is a center back he's going to have or as a dmf is going to have all these pretty much at the 90 zone but 80 speed 86 kick and power and 81 physical contact with 84 stamina as well as being a bit of a passer and a bit of dribbler right so you've got it all you can build out from the back with him you can build up attacks with him and you can really i think kind of like as i said lads this card is going to be so hard to stop if you're playing him as a two-man dmf or a dmf and an smf cmf such as you know having an anchor man beside him and then have him as a cmf um you know beside whoever is your anchor man that he can just like literally bombard forward kind of like a gretzka role so there are the two builds for that and then last but not least we have uh van basten right so van basten for me lads i think is a player that you're either going to love him or you're going to hate him right the one thing i would say about van basten is he does have a wavering form and b rating but he also has one touch pass first time shot cut behind and turn dipping shot rising shot long range shooting acrobatic finishing and heading so he is kind of a marksman in the box like he is lethal if he gets the ball in the box uh i do think that they do definitely want you to play him as kind of like a target man um and just to be able to pop the ball in on top of him if you look there right the minute you get the ball with van basten it's going to be a shot on goal right it's kind of adriano-esque because he can't run and gun he doesn't have that speed right so if we are training him up as a pure central figure right and you could play him beside um you know, like uh, Hollett or something like that, right? As I said, Hollett is going to be an SS. He doesn't have the shooting stats, but this guy's got 90 finishing. But this is the key one here because he is a fox in the box. This 96 offensive awareness is massive for this card, especially with the play style fox in the box here. And the fact that you get 90 finishing and 88 header, as well as having 82 physical contact and 76 balance with 81 acceleration. They're all nice stats, but it's that offensive awareness 96 is just going to be massive, right? Now, I would say as well that if you are fairly comfortable with shooting and you're able to get a lot of shot on, shots on target, um, while I would like to leave the header at 88, I wouldn't mind actually taking down... Um, I wouldn't mind taking down the dribbling completely if you are going to be shooting on site with him and literally just pu pumping in as much as you can into dexterity to max that out because with the player form area you're going to have that maxed out at 99 plus you're going to have 88 finishing with 88 header and the speed and acceleration are going to be above the 80s with balance pretty much in in nearly at the 80 zone as well this would be i think a more um lethal finisher like where a lot of the ai movements and that are going to be just electric but let me know what you guys think right we will try and spin we're going to open this one here now and then we will on stream uh play a few more so yeah let's get into this hopefully we get a legend lads it would be nice it'd be a nice surprise for us but we don't we don't we'll get a three star watch there's no doubt in my mind that it's a three star lads we're into the english league oh it's a four star not too bad not too bad oh my days bobby firmino 
Well, I suppose it was a striker. But anyway, that is it. We will open a few more. It would be nice to get these guys because I think they could be game changers. But yeah, that is it for me. Breakdown and review. Let me know any questions that you guys have and uh, I will talk to you in a bit.